playing sports is a human right. And so every single child should have the opportunity to play sports, especially young women. Hi, my name is Joanna Lohman. I am a professional soccer player for 16 years, and I was a member of the United States Women's National Team. Hi, I'm Casey White. I was a professional soccer player for six years and a member of the United States Women's National Team. Okay, thank you. And so, first of all, uh, I w so you will be here from March 4 to 8, and as part of the U.S. Department of Sports Envoy Program, uh, what kind of activities will your team be participating during your five-day visits here in Cambodia? We have multiple missions while being here in Cambodia. I think number one is gender equality. So talking about the power of women playing sports. Number two is LGBTQ equality and uplifting the LGBTQ community here in Cambodia. And three is community building and uh, cultural sharing. Uh, I think sp sport has the power to really do all three of those things and um, we're very happy to be here. Since you two have been involved in this field for quite a very long time, and what was it like for a female athletes to play a role in this field, in this one? Yeah, I mean, are there any challenges for you? There's definitely challenges. I think we've seen a lot of growth in the United States um, in the past couple years, in the past five years. It keeps accelerating. It's a big time for women's football, but definitely challenges along the way. And for us, I think it's really nice to see from when we played in the United States to now, just the growth that's happened in the game. I love the idea of celebrate and elevate. So we can celebrate the progress that we have made in women's sports, especially because of the U.S. Women's National Team. We were responsible for passing equal pay in 2022. That has had a ripple effect on the entire sport around the world. And the Elevate, where we still need more resources, we still need to demand for more equality and opportunity for young women to play sports and to play the sport professionally. Playing sports is a human right. And so every single child should have the opportunity to play sports, especially young women, because of the lessons that sport teaches you, like resilience, determination, leadership, teamwork. And that's one of the reasons that we are here, is to really show the lessons that sport gets to teach. And providing these opportunities is, is essential, I think, worldwide in order to see the growth of women and the growth of society as a whole. And one of the things that we're really passionate about is, yes, we did get to play at the highest level, but just sport in general can teach players so much about themselves, help you to grow. That's really what we look back on our careers. And not only are we thankful for the times on the field, but also all the things that came from that, all the character qualities that we were able to get through playing a team sport. And have you two meet uh, the footballer you here? And what do you think of them in your comments on them? The footballers here? Yeah. Well, we've been able to work with the Lotus Sports Club um, just a couple days ago, which was amazing, especially being in their province where there weren't a lot of resources, but the skill level that they had and the passion they had for the game was really nice for us to see. And to be a part of that and be able to play with them was really exciting. Okay. Thank you so much for sparing Thank your you. time for this interview. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.